Jim, that's a great 1-0 win. It is. You know, this historically is an extremely difficult place to come. You know, I've never enjoyed any great success coming here as a player with St Mirren or as a manager for that matter. You know you're never going to have an easy game. Um, you know, Callum sets his teams up very, very hard to beat. They're always very well organised and always dangerous on the counter-attack. Um, you know, and I, I was delighted with how organised the team were for how defensively poor we were last weekend. Uh, you know, it was really important today that we showed the, the right reaction and I thought the players did that. The back four and goalkeeper in particular, I think deserve a lot of credit today. Uh, I, I'm all about the team. You know, we defend as a team, attack as a team, but, you know, the guys at the back came in for a bit of criticism last week and, you know, myself included because I was at fault for one of the goals with the way we set them up for the corner. But we owned that, we took responsibility, we didn't try and hide behind anything. Um, and today we got the perfect reaction, I felt, defensively. And collectively as a unit, I thought it was just a, a brilliant um, effort in terms of the commitment and the desire. And toward the end of the game, where St Johnston are throwing absolutely everything at us, um, you know, you, we needed everybody to put in a shift, and I thought we got that. That was a special goal, wasn't it, to win the game? It was brilliant, yeah. I mean, look, obviously we're disappointed with the one that gets chalked off in the in the first half. I'm led to believe it was the right call, so fair play to the officials on that one, although it was quite tight, I think. Um, we spoke about getting that St Johnston in the wide areas. I felt that we had, you know, more pace than them in those particular channels, and we'd done that for the first 10 or 15 minutes of the game, uh, and actually the, the offside goal comes from that, and then we kind of got away from it. Uh, toward the end of the first half but we got back to doing that again in the second half moving the ball nice and quickly from one side to the other and we should have had a few more goals you know Cal Roos has had one save to make and a very good save it was at that um, you know you're going to have to defend the box because they rely heavily on set plays here and free kicks and long throws coming in your box I thought the boys stood up to pretty much everything that St Johnston had to throw at them but it would have been just you know, icing on the cake if we could have got another two or three goals. Mayovsky's disappointed in the second half not to get one. Shaden Morris could have had a couple as well. Um, and, you know, Duke had a, a decent header just by the post. So, all in all, I'll take 1-0 every week. But obviously, you know, it would have been great to give such a great travelling support some more goals to go and celebrate. There was that save from Kella, as you said, which was a really good save. But did you feel the team managed the game well? From, from 1-0 onwards. Yeah, I thought they managed it brilliantly, Rob. You know, I, I can sense the tension from some of the fans when we're trying to play out from the back. And, you know, maybe a few years ago, um, you know, teams would just punt the ball up the park and hope for the best and hope to try and pick up the second ball. I'm not saying we're never going to not do that, but I think it's important that we don't become predictable. And there was times there at 1-0 with five minutes to go where, you know, we're still trying to play out from the back. We're still trying to create that overload and get, get that advantage in the middle of the pitch. And I thought the lad's done it really, really well at times. You, you need a goalkeeper with a bit of confidence there and Kel has certainly got that with the ball at his feet um, there's been times during the season where we get punished for it but it's the way I ask the boys to play I think it's the best way to play the game I think it's the most attractive and the most entertaining and when you get a little bit of success with it um, you know it's very rewarding I think and that's the way we train so it's important that we, we try and do it on a match day Next up Livingston at Pataudry and you'll want another three points to add to these three points Absolutely yeah I mean uh, again I know I sound like a broken record but we know you know the challenges that Livingston bring you know um, I don't know how the results have went uh, they, they lost at Motherwell today Right okay well listen another uh, important win for Motherwell as well but I think you can see how competitive the league is going to be I said that to you after the game last weekend with some of the results Livingston beating Hibs and, um, but Livingston will be sore after that one then no doubt and Davy Martindale will be hoping for a reaction you know, similar to the one that we got uh, today from our players but you know, Livingston are a, a tough nut to crack and um, you know, there's that level of expectation at home and we're a Pataudry in front of our home fans and you know, I thought we played really well for maybe 70% of the game today there's bits always that we can improve on but we're still a very new group I think it's important to remind people of that you know uh, I've only been six months in the door we've had you know 11 new players come in and it's sometimes takes a little bit of time to gel all that together but I think there's glimpses of uh, a good team there but we just we, we still need to work hard on the training pitch and continue to try and improve that was great today thanks Jim thanks Rob